Greetings, this is the Instrument Sidekick video for the Trumpet, page 15, Valve Maintenance 2, page 15, Valve Maintenance Part 2, okay, and it looks like that. All right, so Valve Maintenance Part 1 was all about oiling the valve, all right, Part 2 is all about getting that valve back in and working the oil into the uh, trumpet in the way that's going to be most helpful. So, first thing we got to review, all right, is... Don't forget, this is called the lead pipe, okay? All right, this is the lead pipe right here. All right, now, on your valve, okay, in that area that has the spring and doesn't have the, the holes for the airflow, okay, one of the two sides will have a number on it. As you can see, this is number one, okay? Number one. It won't be on the other side. So it's only on one of the sides, okay? So uh, when we put the valve in, okay, that number should be facing the lead pipe, okay? So you have this lead pipe. There's the side with the bell and the side with the lead pipe, okay? So I'm going to take that number, one right there, okay, one, and I'm going to have that angled towards the lead pipe as I put it in, okay? Now, it's not incorrectly yet. Now we gotta turn it and click it, okay? And that means we gotta turn it just like when you're tightening a screw, all right? Uh, what we call clockwise. So an analog, not a digital, but an analog clock goes one direction around the clock all the time. That direction's called clockwise, Okay, so you look over this, and that direction, clockwise direction, we turn until it clicks into place. And it clicked. Okay, now it doesn't go back and forth anymore. Okay, so it clicked into just the right spot. So the numbered part that was aiming towards the lead pipe has now turned towards the mouthpiece and clicked facing that direction. Okay. Now, if I take this out and I put that number on the wrong side and I put it in, it'll still turn and click, but now that number is facing the bell. The trumpet will not work if the number is facing the bell. All right, so we've got to make sure that that one right there is facing the lead pipe when we put it in and then clockwise and clicks into place facing the mouthpiece, all right? And you'll feel the click, you'll hear the click, and it won't move back and forth anymore, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna take the part that you screwed it on and you're gonna screw, this is where you unscrewed, you gotta screw that back on, and then you move it up and down, okay? Jeez, there's just a few drops of oil and that oil is going to work its way in if you move the trumpet up and down, side to side, as I'm moving this up and down, and it gets the oil into all the places it needs to be, okay? Because do we don't want it to just stay where you put the couple of drops. We want the oil to get all around in there so the whole thing is moving up and down nice and smooth, okay? Um, so that's what you do, and then you go on to the next one, and then you go on to the next one. Um, always being careful and really you're gonna find it's not too bad at all uh, you totally get used to it um, it's totally a normal thing in life for lots of things to need oil your doors need oil uh, cars need oil okay oil may not be safe for you uh, so never drink it or get it in your eye but it is a very necessary uh, item to work all sorts of things, including the trumpet. Um, now, if it gets in your skin, that is not a bad thing, okay? that No problem at all. So if that was a problem, I would have been doomed a long time ago. <laughs> all right, uh, so yeah, you get oil on your hands, that's totally normal. Wash your hands before you touch food or something, okay? Um, just wash your hands and you're fine. Um, so you can get the oil on your hands. It can get on your pants. It's not like you're, it's going to be bad for you if it gets on your pants. It's just going to stain your pants, and your parents won't be happy about that. All right? But it's totally fine if that happens. It's not unhealthy for you. Um, you can take the smell. The smell is totally fine. It's got a very specific valve oil smell. All right? So 
None of that's a problem, okay? Uh, just avoid getting it in your mouth and eyes, that's all. Um, and then you'll have a well-oiled trumpet. Now, in school, you will want to uh, usually oil your trumpet at the beginning of or just before any of your lessons um, or the beginning of or just before anything we do in a, any band rehearsals, okay? Um, but lessons are where, like we're doing now, where you learn how to operate the trumpet and band rehearsals are when the whole band is together. Everybody's all playing together, okay? The hope is, even if you're at home, at some point we'll have band rehearsals. But um, in any case, you want to oil your valves beforehand. You don't want to get stuck in the middle of something where I'm like, okay, I want to hear the trumpets playing this, and you can't because your valves aren't working, okay? You want to do that ahead of time so your valves are going to work all through class, okay? Um, so that's oiling your valves. As I said, don't forget to review the pages and look at all the pictures and all the reminders before you oil your valves. Each time you need to oil your valves for the first month, okay? Um, once you've really done it a number of times and you're really used to it, great, fine. You don't need the book anymore. But the first few times, I'd really be a whole lot happier if... You review those two pages, really look at the pictures. There's not a lot to read to remind you. Um, it's worth just a quick glance to rem remember what to do right so you don't break anything, okay? Um, if something does happen, let me know. <laughs> Have your parents email me or something, okay? Um, we'll see what we can do from there, but let's hopefully avoid that. All right, so take good care of your vows. On to the next page. May the Force be with you.